So we're going to talk about, today we're going to talk about the digital assets and how to unlock a $30 billion opportunity in Latin America. As um, some of you guys heard my presentation yesterday, I wanted to start why I'm here and after these uh, great days here listening to everybody, I think now more than ever we share our beliefs that technology can change the world, can change how we are investing in real estate and not just in real estate, but in everything else, all the private markets. We've, we've been listening to it the, these three days with amazing presentations. Uh, I think we all here are agents of change. We are starting this new era of uh, investing, and that's uh, great. Of course, the growth we can have is exponential. We just heard with the ATS. The market is so large and it's going to evolve so fast that everybody is going to to do great things on the digital technology. And uh, the other thing that we need not to lose focus on is in to transform with a cost. Of course, everything that's going on with the technology, it has to have a cost, and that's to uh, make a better life for our investors, for the community, and for, for everyone in, in our countries. So we are Mountex, a real estate investment platform focus uh, in the Latin American market, and we are giving access to investors, to, well, to common people to become real estate investors with a focus on inclusion, transparency, and tradability. So let's start now with the subject, that is LATAM. The first thing I want to tell you is that LATAM is a big market. LATAM is more than 20 countries, Basically, all of them speak Spanish, unless Brazil. You know, they are the Portuguese guys. But everything else speaks Spanish, and it's a really big market. We are more than 660 million people. Just to make a perspective, we are twice the size, or Latin America is twice the size than the US population. In the other hand, in the GDP, it has 5.7 dollars. That's nearly half of the GDP of China. But if you compare it per capita, it's basically the same. Of course, there are a lot of Chinese. So that's what happened. But it's a huge market, a huge economic, economic uh, market. Of these 660 uh, people, million people in Latin America, 21% are millennials. Millennials, you know, Everybody has different uh, ages, but we've focused on the 25 to 40 years. Those are the millennials. This means 140 million people that are economic active and they have money and they want to invest and they want to grow their wealth. So this means they have a spending power of $30 billion. So this is the market where we're focusing, where we're talking to, and, and they have a huge, huge potential. And let's don't forget that in the US, we have 59 million Hispanic people. So it's a huge market also in the US. Not just Latin America, the 660, but you have 59 more. So it's a huge market, the Latin market. So let's now talk about tech. We are here in the Digital Assets Conference talking about tech, blockchain, and everything that's going on on the private market. But let's see how tech is going to Latin America. The tech penetration has been growing for the last almost 17 years. Since 2003, it has grown year over year, 65% in Latin America. So every year, more people is connected, more people is uh, under, you know, using technology. Compared to the US, the US has been growing 11%. Of course, they have a, an advantage. They started a lot earlier than we do. And China has been growing 40%. So a huge, and this is a great opportunity because we are basically giving a, a, a leap jump into adopting technology. Basically, oh, here. This is what has been leading the technology in Latin America, the mobile users. You know, technology with smartphones, you know, we've all, we cannot live without our smartphone anymore. So that's what has this explosion in Latin America 
So people in all realms of uh, the society and all across Latin America now have access to technology through mobile uh, technology. There are 343 million uh, internet users growing exponentially year over year and this is also opening now a digit talking about the digital securities and where we are this is the gate for the latin american market the the tech import really important i also talk about today covid 2020 you know it's been even though it's great to see you all in person it has a great effect as a accelerator of digitalization. A year ago, when you have a Zoom meeting or whatever, you know, you, you had two Zoom meetings per month. COVID make them, you know, two <laughs> per hour. You know, it's like you were, I'm sure everybody here has like, you know, those days where you have 16 meetings in a day and you just want to get out of your chair and your computer <laughs> and move over. But this has really accelerated the tech uh, absorption in Latin America. So people that wasn't get or wasn't too much uh, on tech, they had to, to get into tech. And now let's talk about real estate. Real estate in Latin America, it's a strong market and it's a growing market. But as in a lot of the parts of the world, it's inaccessible and it's inefficient. So, one third of the millennials, according to a study of CBRE that made in Latin America, one third of the millennials want to rent, no, rent because they cannot buy. They don't have the means to buy property. And if we put that, you know, they don't have the down payment, also the mortgages in Latin America are really expensive, then you have to cover like all the different uh, criteria about of the banks you know that it's 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 kind of complicated to purchase so all these guys the 100 140 million millennials that are they are renting but and only three percent of those millennials have invested in real estate but 80 percent they think that it's a great investment and they want to do it but they cannot do it so that's where the opportunity lies for, for us in the tech and in the real estate. So another great thing about the Latin American markets, the yield rates compared in average with the US, the projects give you better yield rates. So the project in, in Latin America average is six, 12, six to 12% 12 and in the US again average is a four to 6%. You know, of course, depending on the project and a lot of things, but this is the average. So the last in the real estate point of view. So I would like you to ask everyone in here, what if instead of needing a high amount of capital, you invest with an accessible amount? You know, you, you'll be on a huge potential market. What if a new generation of investors has the chance to get more and instant returns on real estate assets in a secure and global way. And what if real estate investing become more efficient, more with more transparency and governance, and with more option for a larger pool of investors? So this is the great opportunity that we have. Kind of in a summary, you know, we have this huge market. 140 at least million people ready to buy and wanting to buy real estate. We have the tech component, you know, that we used to have. Yesterday I talked about the investor onboarding, and that's part of, of what we were building with Vertalo. Be able, through the technology, to get into access to the real estate investors. And we have a real estate market that is strong, that is growing, that it's uh, Latin America is one of the most urban regions in the world because a lot of people has been moving into cities and, and it's growing and it has a huge demand for, for you know, all kinds of real estate, residential, commercial, and industrial. So, uh, 
Carnegie, you know, he mentioned it's, this is a famous quote, you know, 90% of the millionaires made their fortune in real estate. The American dream, we just talked uh, with Alan. Uh, and, and, you know, the real problem is that no, n not everybody has access to real estate until now. So this is an example that we wanted to present yesterday. We, this is our first project in Mexico. Uh, it's an investment, it's a commercial project in Puebla. It's a project uh, we're raising, we're tokenizing this asset at uh, $2 million with a great I04. It's a cash cash of 1.97. It's a little property is leased or is rented to GMP, that it's one of the largest insurance companies in Mexico. It has a 10 year contract. Just to give you again an idea, Puebla is the sixth, the sixth largest city in Mexico. It has six million people living in Puebla. To give you, I, I was Googling yesterday, Austin has two million. So you can see the proportions that, that we have. So there's a lot of opportunity in, uh, in Latin America. So are you ready to join us in the new era of real investing? Let's do it. And, and this is how we're looking. We've seen, you know, it was a great panel with all the ATS in, in one panel. We're looking at state issuers or platforms. We've been talking with, with some of you guys. So we can unlock the Latin American investors so they can start investing in your project. And we're looking also for broker dealers or ATS so what we can unlock the real estate power of Latin America for the US investors. So we are Mountex, you know, we're going to be here all, all until, of course, tomorrow. We'll be happy to talk with any one of you and uh, please contact us and feel free to talk about it and to start this new era of real estate investing. Thank you.